All right, we do our best on this show not to let issues fall by the wayside, even though sometimes we get all distracted by the shiny object in the headlines. Uh, If you haven't been paying attention, it is open enrollment season right now. Uh, There's not much time left, actually, for all of the various health care stuff. So if you're having to do Obamacare, that it's open enrollment right now, I think, until December 15th. And uh, also for uh, Medicare, which means this is the time that you can change plans uh, and, and see what your options are, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know enough about this stuff. I should know more. I know enough to get myself through what I need to do. But there's a lot uh, to think about. So brought in the expert. Dr. Stephen Cohen is joining us right now. He is a physician at Wellstar, but here in a different capacity uh, to sort of help us through this whole idea of, you know, not getting screwed out of good benefits, right? I mean, that's a straight way to put it. I think that's a good way of putting it. Okay. So you and I talked about this a little bit uh, before, Stephen. So tell me what is happening sort of in the world right now around this. Uh, basically, Medicare, which covers 59 million people in the U.S., um, gives you the option of choosing a plan to help pay for your medicines. I think we all know how expensive medications can cost. Oh, yeah. And uh, people spend hundreds of billions of dollars a year on them. And in the Atlanta area, there's over 40 Medicare plans you can choose from to help pay for your medicines. They're either the Medicare D plans, which just cover medicines, or there's something called Medicare Advantage plans, which are like HMOs, where you, if you choose to go with the Medicare Advantage plan, you're restricting yourself to a group of doctors, hospitals, but it also covers for, for your medicines. All right, wait, I'm already confused. I mean, I, seriously, because I think for people who aren't on Medicare, you just assume that like when it's time to go on Medicare, you just go on Medicare, and that's it. Not that there's 40 plans to choose from. Um. So Medi- apparently I was wrong. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. <laughs> yeah, true. Fair point. Thank you for that. You're welcome uh, back on the show anytime, Dr. Khan. Medicare is complicated, and you need to do some research if you want to make your money go as far as it can. Um, when you turn 65 is when most people go on Medicare. And there's Medicare that pays for the hospital. There's Medicare that pays for doctors. There's Medicare that pays for medicines. And if you want to keep me here for a couple of hours, we can go over all of those details. In great detail. <laughs> but I don't think you like me that much, so let's Not try yet. to do a summary. Okay, fair enough. First of all is if you're 65 or if you have certain chronic medical problems, you probably want to be on Medicare to help pay for your medical bills. That's number one. Number two, if you do go on Medicare, you have the option of choosing one of these plans that help pay for medicines. You don't have to choose it. So if you don't, then you just don't have cover- you, extra co- coverage? You don't have coverage, coverage to pay for your medicines. Basically, you go to the drugstore, and they say this medicine is $500 a month. You, If you want it, you pay $500 a month. Okay. But if you choose one of these plans, it can save you an enormous amount of money. Um, And do you pay out of pocket to have that plan, or is that just, you have to just sign up? uh, You sign up for the plan, and some have a premium every month, some don't. Okay. That's why you have to do the research to look at the overall cost. But as I said, you can save a lot of money. I had a patient recently who had a form of leukemia that didn't require any treatment, and he said, why do I want to pay for a plan? I don't take any medicines. I said, what if your leukemia gets worse? He went, oh. Oh, right. Oh, that. And yeah. shortly after that, his leukemia got worse, Aww. and he was prescribed a medicine that cost $114,000 a year, Ugh. which he didn't have. Right. Um, I went and used one of the tools that are available. It's what's called the Medicare Plan Finder on Medicare.gov, where you can just put in your zip code and what medicines you'll take, and it'll give you a nice report that tells you what the out-of-pocket cost is for all the available plans in your area. Anyway, it took me three minutes to do this with him, and rather than paying $114,000 a year, I showed him he had the option of paying anywhere between $3,000 and $9,000 a year to cover that medicine. Not surprisingly, he went with a $3,000 a year plan. Yeah, I'll say. So that's really what you're advocating for, that people use this tool um, to try to you know, get the best deal for what the, whatever their situation is. Exactly. And I said it is complicated. Um, had a couple of friends, they were both doctors, and they couldn't figure out how to, what the best plan was for one of their parents, despite the fact they were in the profession. Uh, I actually set up a website. It's nonprofit. It's called MedicareDrugSavings.org. Okay. And it's got an 11-minute video on there that helps explain how you can go through the Medicare Plan Finder on Medicare.gov. 
So it's really just like a helper um, to explain how to navigate a more complex system. Exactly. Okay. It's educational. Okay. In addition, in every state, there's a federally funded program that's free. You pay for it with your taxes that will provide one-on-one -on -one counseling to help you go through this Medicare maze. Oh, wow. In Georgia, it's called Georgia Cares. You can uh, see it on my website, but also you can go to mygeorgiacares.gov. It might be mygeorgiacares.org. .org. .org, yeah. I, I, I'm fact-checking you here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And you can go to that, and you can make a phone call, and they can help you over the phone. They can, You can make an appointment for one-on-one -on -one counseling. Again, for this year, time's running short. The chance to pick a new plan for 2019 ends on December 15th. Yeah, but that's, you still got a, two it's weeks. It's a couple weeks. Yeah. Um, but it's a good thing to do. In addition, on our website, there's a link that can give you the information for organizations that are similar to Georgia Cares in other states throughout the country. So if you've got relatives outside of Georgia who could benefit from this information, that's a place where you can go to find out how to access it. Dr. Stephen Cohen hanging out with us right now on the Dana Barrett Show, helping all of us uh, learn more about <coughs> Medicare. And in particular, if you need to sign up for one of these drug plans, which probably most people do, 65 and over, uh, the website he keeps referring to is MedicareDrugSavings.org. Um, before we run out of time totally, and we're getting close here, um, Stephen, but I want to talk a little bit about why you wanted to do this. I know you, you already gave one example of a patient with leukemia, but you've seen some other kind of horror stories around this, yeah? Um, I deal with a lot of older people, and several years ago, a patient of mine who was taking a lot of medicines came in to see me. Normally, she was always very cheerful, smiling all the time, and I walked in the room. She was about to cry, mm -hmm. and I said, well, what's going on? She said, well, I had to choose between paying my mortgage and paying for my medicines, so I'm letting the bank take my house back, and I'm moving a few hundred miles to move in with relatives so I can pay for my medicines. Oh, man. People can disagree about how much the government should spend on health care, et cetera, but I don't think that in 2018 there's a lot of people that should say you should lose your home or you should not get your cancer treated or your diabetes treated because you don't know about a website or you don't know a phone number to call to get some help to navigate these this maze, essentially. So basically when she did that, I just thought that there was a, you're like, this can't there's, happen. There's a need, and yeah. maybe I could help fill it. Well, I really love that. So thank you for doing that. I'll just speak for everybody who's going to use it. Thank you for doing that. Uh, the website, again, is MedicareDrugSavings.org. Dr. Stephen Cohen, it's a nonprofit. He's not looking for any money, just wants people to get educated. Thank you so much for spending some time with us uh, right here on